And Katie's back. I haven't been out just yet, but I right. hear it's very hot. Oh my gosh, those feels like are already off the charts. I mean, already feeling well, like it's into the 90s, even wow. triple digits, depending on location. So it makes sense. The Weather Service put out a heat advisory, right? And yeah, you know, it also makes sense that a lot of schools are letting the kids out early because if you don't have the benefit of air conditioning, it's pretty brutal stuff. And we'll start things off with a view that frankly surprised me. I don't see anybody, at least currently, jumping in the uh, fountain right now. I'm a little shocked by that. But regardless, it is perfect fountain jumping or pool weather. If you are lucky enough to still have yours open near you, that's part of the problem with this is that a lot of times after Labor Day, a lot of the pools start to shut down. Maybe the one in your own backyard is shut down too. So we definitely still have pool weather for sure, but uh, this is eventually going to get scaled back. It's just going to take us a couple of days. So let's start it off here with a look at storm scan, which is still very, very quiet here locally, but I am going to zoom it way out for you here so you can see a little bit more action going on. Here's Gordon, still a tropical storm churning away and a about to make its landfall here, but then we also have this frontal boundary that's draped back over the Central Plains and Great Lakes. This is what eventually does cross our area, eventually scales the heat back for us. But like so many of the, this frontal boundary's predecessors, it's another one that's going to stall nearby. So it does unfortunately mean we may end up with some unsettled weather heading toward the weekend. We'll get to that. Let's turn our focus again, though, to more that's going on in the tropics because a new update for you, even though this is still well out over the open waters of the Atlantic. It is now Hurricane Florence. And as it currently stands, at least with the latest runs of the models, this storm is still expected to make a recurve before it would even reach Bermuda. However, there's a large dome of high pressure that could squash this further south and bring it a little further west before it would make that right turn. So we still need to keep an eye on this. And look, I mean, you're all the way out to Sunday by the time this is even at all close to Bermuda. So there are many days before we're going to have a really clear cut idea of what happens with Florence. Here she is, though. Meanwhile, there's another area of concern that we're keeping an eye on. This one just moved off the shore of Africa, so it does have a pretty high shot to develop about 70% chance of development in in the next five days. So we may have the next name system on the list here in a matter of time. And the next name will be Helene. So we'll see how uh, things end up here. But so far, seven name systems for the year as a whole in the Atlantic Basin starting to get busy, but tis the season. This is the time of the season that that would happen. Current dew points aren't very comfortable. 70 degrees currently. It was a little worse this morning before the sun came up, but that does equate to what we would coin as oppressive on the scale uh, on our comfort index here. So yeah, you know, the humidity just has to be factored in on days like this. When you're talking about daytime highs that are well into the 90s, and here are those current uh, temperatures already at 90 in Wilmington, Philly, and Millville, even at 93 at the AC Air Port. When we tack an extra four degrees onto this for a daytime high, yeah, that's a record, and that's definitely weather headline material. But when you factor in the humidity, it of course is going to feel so much worse. So for the next couple of hours, it could feel as hot as triple digits. Keep that in mind if you do plan to be out and take care of yourself. 74, the expected low later on tonight. Generally, just a few clouds overhead. A look ahead tomorrow does bring back an opportunity for just an isolated shower storm. Most of us are still in the scorching sun, and it looks actually like a record tying day at this point. And one more day on Eagles uh, game day here, actually, of highs in the 90s. So for tailgate purposes, keep that in mind. But that's when that front gets here, Rahel. So that'll bring our next shot for more widespread showers and storms as well. Okay. Thank you, Katie. Sure.